What's up everybody and welcome to another David's low budget deck tech videos. Today we're going to do Joy of the G2. If you guys haven't had the pleasure of playing against or with this card before, she says pay two, remove a non-land permanent from your hand, put four suspend counters on it or time counters. Each upkeep, you remove a time counter, and then it comes into play. And if it's a creature, it comes in with haste. A lot of people, they come in, and they watch these videos for three different reasons. Generally, it's A, you're looking to build this deck. Um, B, you're looking to upgrade the deck that you already have. Or C... You're looking to do a little bit of tweaking to the deck that you have. So this deck kind of revolves around Joyra suspending gigantic spells and creatures. And then cheating in a Wrath of God style effect that destroys everything. And then that's kind of how you win the game with her. So the first thing we do when we build this deck is we get, like to have a lot of these spells that remove time counters. This deck has a bunch of them. Time crafting is the absolute best one just because you can just remove X time counters or you can put X time counters on for some things that you want more time counters on. So time crafting is number one. That's the number one removing the, the time counters next is fury charm you can remove two time counters or give something trample or destroy an artifact which is actually pretty dope in commander because everybody runs artifacts clock spinning is a take a time counter off with buyback so you can if you have a bunch of mana rocks out you just keep doing this end of turn buying it back and you can end up with uh, taking quite a, a bit of time counters off of your stuff. Now we're going into the more group play aspects. Because it's not always a one-sided match. Sometimes you need to protect the stuff that you have on the board. Like your artifacts and your enjoyra. So we run some counter spells in here. So we run Rewind. We'll run Reverberate, which is really good for a billion different things. I mean, this is this card is basically like a group game specialty. So if somebody demonic tutors, you can demonic tutor. If somebody counters a spell, you can counter a spell. You know, it's a fun card. Counterflux. This is sweet. Can't be countered. Everybody knows this card, Mana Leak. Counter unless they pay three. Mana Drain. Boss when you need to get that extra two mana for suspending all the stuff in your hand. This comes in handy. And then we go into our draw card aspect. This is a memory jar. Basically you sacrifice your, your memory jar and then you can draw seven cards. And then you can pay and suspend those seven cards in your hand for really cheap. Then get your other hand back at the end of the turn. Mind's Eye. Whenever anybody draws a card, you get to draw a card if you pay one. Windfall. <laughs> this is a good one. Fill your hand back up after you've suspended everything. Same thing with Time Spiral. You'll see a lot of these kind of wheel effects in here because... We want to suspend a bunch of rows of different things. I mean, we'll suspend take extra turns or creatures or artifacts that are big or enchantments that are big. And sometimes we drill through our hands so fast because her ability, remember, it only costs two mana. So, I mean, this even we could cost, we could cast for two mana. We just have to wait, quote unquote, four turns, which never really happens because we just suspend it. So we just keep drilling through our hand. 
Reforge the soul, same thing. It's Wheel of Fortune. Draw cards equal to the number of cards in an opponent's hand. Somebody's going off and they have 7 or 10 or 20 or 30 cards in their hand because they did some crazy stuff. So can we. If we've drilled through our hand and we have a bunch of lands in our hand, boom, we flux them out of there, draw a card, and then we get to draw as many cards we had in our hand. This is a good one. You cast it, you exile it, you can play it again. Sweet. Now we get to our extra turn cards. We run a heck of a lot of extra turn cards in here. Not only does it allow us to take more time counters off, it allows us to get ahead of our opponents. Take an extra turn after this one, Temporal Mastery. Walk to Aeons, sacrifice three islands. You don't care. You're just going to blow up all the lands anyway. You might as well blow up all the lands and take an extra turn. Time Warp. I don't, I don't know why more people don't run this. This card is so stinking good. Being able to Miracle for two and Time Walk, it, it's crazy. Suspend this bad boy, get two extra turns. For two mana? That's a pretty good, that's a bargain. We got a Mystical Tutor in here. This card's kind of cool. When we have something like, uh, say we got everything blown up on our board, we don't really care about our stuff anymore. Suspend a glimpse of tomorrow, shuffle everything away. Boom. Now we have a whole bunch of fatties on the board because that's all we run in this deck is a bunch of fatties. Down to our artifacts as a signet. Mana Crypt. Everyone knows these cards. These cards go in every EDH deck. Liquid Metal Torque. I don't even need to introduce. It's Mana Crypt. Grim Monolith. Grand Dynamo. Felwar Stone. Mindstone, Arcane Signet, pretty pretty average stuff. All right, on to our board wipes. So Cyclonic Rift, we would count it as a board wipe, even though a lot of the times it's not for us. Blasphemous Act. All right, so. You're going to notice that these cards kind of destroy everything on the board. The reason that we want to destroy everything on the board is because when a creature comes into play after Decree of Annihilation, it'll come in with haste. You'll have nobody will have anything on the board, and then you have, you know, a bunch of big fat creatures, and then they start beating people to death. That's the win condition with this deck. So we run a Decree of Annihilation. Remove all artifacts, creatures, and lands from the hands from the game. This is your number one because it removes the hands too. They can't even float the mana and destroy. Joker hops. This is artifacts, creatures, and lands. So keep the enchantments around. There's a couple in here that are pretty good. Obliterate. This is a really good one. Can't be countered. Really huge in Commander. Now that this got unbanned, <laughs> we got World Fire back. Sweet. Be able to just beat everybody and hit them one turn and then everybody dies. Omniscience. Suspend this bad boy. Clock spinning this bad boy out in turn four. You're good, man. You don't got you don't gotta worry about nothing. I haven't gotten to play a whole lot with this one with the multiverse card just because it's new. I don't know. I, I added it in just because it's kind of interesting. Being able to look at the top card of your library at any time doesn't really... That's not really that big of a deal. Playing lands and 
stuff off the top of your library. Not that big of a deal either. But being able to cast one creature card a turn with the amount of gigantic creatures in here, this could pop off. So we'll play it a little bit more and see how it runs. Braids of Fire. Cumulative upkeep. Add one red mana. Oh. See where I'm getting that? Able to use that mana on Gyra. Mystic Remora. We all know what that card does. Draws you hella cards. Alright. We've got Paradox Haze. This is one of the only enchantments in our hand, in our auras in our deck. It's basically enchant player. You got two upkeep phases. So remove two time counters. So that four turns into two really quick. Four turns to wait turns into two. Now, these are our big beats. This is what we this is really what we want. This look how fat that is. We run a hell of a lot of creatures in here because we want to be able to drill these things out and just keep putting them into the suspend zone as soon as possible. As many of them as possible, as fast as possible, with all those artifacts. Balefire Dragon comes into play, nukes everybody's board, basically, except for your own. It comes out with haste, too, with the suspend. Blight Steel Colossus. Womp, you're dead. Take 11 infect. Phyrexian Metamorph, so good. This is kind of a weird one. Shivan Sand Mage comes into play. Remove two time counters. Pathraiser of Ulamog. Annihilators 3. Goodbye everybody's lands every single turn after you blow up the board. Magmatic Force. He's just a big fatty that deals damage. It that betrays. Annihilator 2. So good. I mean, it basically, it boils down to, if you have one of these, once you've nuked the entire board and your things are in suspend, they come out. There's nothing on the board except for them, and every single time somebody plays a land, you're going to swing at them, and then they're just going to sacrifice it. Artisan of Kozilek. Alright, another one of those removing suspend counters. Rift Elemental... Pay one red and one neutral and remove a uh, time counter. I don't know. Do I keep calling some suspend counters? I don't know. Is it a time counter? It, it suspends. Time counter, suspend counter. It doesn't really matter. Whatever you want to call it. Cause lek. This is another really cool one. So this says suspend X. And then you see where X plus three plus red so every single turn, you basically, however many time counters is on this thing, every single turn, you get to destroy a non-basic land. So with Jora's ability, you put four time counters on this thing. So you only have to pay two for something that you would have to pay eight. Every single turn, you're blowing up a non-basic land for two mana. Oh my god, it's so good. Ulamog. He doesn't care if you wipe the board. He's still there. He's still going to beat everybody and do the exact same thing with that Annihilator 4 and destroy everybody's lands. Jin Taxus. Just draw seven cards at the end of your turn. Everybody's max, uh, every opponent's max hand size is zero. So. This is just another, like, if this guy comes out, it's pretty much game over. Draws Time Bug. Remove a Suspend Counter. A Tavara Hellkite. Another one of those. They come out. Everything's gone. You swing with them. There's two of them. Ulamog's Crusher. Another one of those cheesy Annihilator 2 characters, creatures in this. Alright, here's another cool one, actually. This guy says, suspend 3 in a blue and X. Whenever you remove a time counter from this guy, you draw a card. 
you're putting four timer counters on him for two mana. See? Bada bing, bada boom. You have eight mana worth of card draw for two mana. Time bender. When he gets popped face up from morph, remove suspend counters. Every blue deck runs one of these. Phantasmal image. Another wheel effect on a character on a creature. Archaeomancer. Something gets discarded from our hands. We want to wheel again. We want to blow the board up again. We can get her back. We can get her, put her on the battlefield, and get one of our things back. All right, dudes. Hope you enjoyed Jora of the Gee Two. It's a it's a fun deck. You. Uh, you make some enemies with it, for sure, especially if you blow up the board and, and basically do how I play the deck. You notice I don't play a whole heck of a lot of interaction just because I'm a greedy deck builder. I want to be able to pump things out as fast as possible, and I don't care what anybody else is doing. I want to play my game as fast as humanly possible, get her out, and start blowing up the board. All right. Peace, dudes. See you on the next one.